The United States was never in the stars for us. It was an aspiration. That was one of my dreams, the house with the picket fence, because I'd never had that. I lived in the projects. I don't know if I ever imagined that I would own my own business. We really started with nothing. We started just with an ice cream machine out of our own home. There's so much opportunity out there. If you work hard, you have opportunity. This industry has a lot of opportunities in a lot of different ways. You can start as a food server, a bartender, and you can end up as the CEO for a very large publicly held company. Anything's possible. Well, I was born and raised in Kenya. I came to America on a scholarship. I put myself through college by working in dining services 40 hours a week. I think I was about 10. And it was put to me that if I didn't like the way we cooked as a family, I could do the cooking. That's what started it all. I started out wanting to be a pastry chef, but as soon as I started making ice cream, I realized that ice cream is everything. I came from an orphanage in South Korea. I looked different, I talked different, and then I had hearing aid and this headset around my neck. Yeah, I was last in my class in high school. Out of 600 people, I was dead last, and I was still class president. I knew I didn't want to go to college, so I got in my car, and I had 300 bucks, and I started driving around the country. And I ran out of money here in Seattle. I was down to my last buck. My wife sold her engagement ring. I sold a very valuable watch that my father gave me. We sold everything. And three and a half years later, we owned our first restaurant. I started as a food server when I was 16. I loved the business. I loved everything about it. My parents split up when I was in uh, first grade. So we lived out of the back of a pinto and camped. I grew up in El Salvador. We grew up in a shanty town, and I left when I was 17. We opened as a kind of elevated coffee shop, and we quickly transitioned to full breakfast, which was probably a little premature. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't give it a whole lot of time to work through the kinks. Good job, everybody. Thank you. How are you doing, Cynthia? Just fine. <laughs> holy guacamole, that's right. That's right, what we should call it, holy guacamole. So did you check on table 101? Huh? I checked on 101, our little Christian. This is what she does best, see? This is what she does. She takes care of everybody. I love this industry. There's tremendous opportunity here for people of all walks of life. Where else could you find a place that you enjoy coming to work every day like we do and get paid for it? So we got the, uh, the leeks in there, a little paprika, the hazelnut brown butter. No matter what happens, being in this industry I can feed my family. I can make them great food. It's the greatest thing in the world. There are some fantastic careers in this industry. We've had people start out as an hourly position or $30,000 a year and are now making six-figure incomes. This business is unparalleled in opportunity out there. That's what this industry provides to you, an opportunity. And you can start from the ground up. We pretended like we lived somewhere down there and we'd walk up to the bus here. Um, and when we got off, we would make sure that we would walk away from the house because we didn't want anybody to see the little shack that we were living in. I had a mentor that believed in me and gave me opportunity to be able to advance and I eventually was able to buy the company from him. In this room, there are incredibly talented people who I know will someday open their own restaurant, have their own coffee house. This industry has supported a number of families, including my family. You know, there's always an opportunity here. I think a lot of people, they have this vision of us being hamburger flippers with our little paper hats. We give millions of people an opportunity. One out of four people has worked in the restaurant business. We really are the fabric of America. What's grounding is the fact that you can start from being a dishwasher to being a leader of a, a large company or a large division. And I would have never imagined that sorting silverware was going to lead to great things. Today we have six stores. We sell all over the country in gourmet grocery stores and to restaurants all over America. I started in the dish room 30 years ago. 
And today I'm president of now $100 million restaurant company. 28 years now, we've gone from 30 seats to 110 seats, and we opened a second location two years ago. When we first started with one restaurant, we did annual sales of about $1.5 billion. We have grown to 12 restaurants, and we have annual sales income of roughly $26 million. I started as a food server, now I'm running the very company that I started as, as a food server. I was able to create three different restaurants, which is now owned by the family. I started on the cook side of things. Now I'm opening six restaurants in the next year and a half. My folks started this business almost 80 years ago, and now my son is taking over. I wanted to open my first restaurant before I was 30. I wanted to make my first million before I was 40, and I want to retire by the time I'm 50. It has been storybook. I didn't imagine that we would own a restaurant. We exceeded our expectations. We exceeded our dreams. If you think about going to work for a restaurant and eventually running a two or three or four million dollar piece of business, it's the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm very blessed that I'm living the American dream. I would have never imagined growing up in Nairobi, Kenya, that I would be standing here today. Who would have thought that I would end up where I am today, living the American dream. Starting at 265 an hour to uh, you know, running a $100 million restaurant company I built from scratch, I'm the epitome of what is possible in this industry. You show me somebody that comes from the restaurant business, I'll show you somebody who can do anything. I'm Tony Paco. I'm the president of my own company. I'm Leslie Mackey. I'm Guy Fieri. I'm Jenny Brittenbauer. I'm an ice cream artisan and business owner. Hi, I'm Tom Douglas. I'm a restaurateur. I'm Brett Stewart. I'm a franchisee. I'm Oscar Hernandez. I'm Julia Stewart. I'm Cameron Mitchell, and I founded my own restaurant company. I'm chairman and CEO. And I own my own restaurant. I'm an artisan baker. I'm Tina Tomaselli. I'm Anthony Tomaselli. Amy Igloy Matsuno, and I'm a restaurant owner. TV host, author, and dad. We're a husband and wife. And restaurant owners. I'm Ron Smith. I own 12 franchise restaurants. I'm Hussein Kirabwala. I'm a restaurant brand president. What a blessing. What a blessing. Only in America and only in the restaurant business. It's just fabulous.